All right, good evening, everyone. I'm gonna give you just a moment to get into our webinar before we get started. And while we're waiting, I'm gonna share my screen with you. I hope everyone's having a good evening. Where I am in, Pencil in the middle of Pennsylvania, it is quite rainy. Um, hopefully everyone is dry and safe. But again, welcome. My name is Andrea Castle Bretz. I'm the executive assistant of PACAC. That's the Pennsylvania Association for College Admission Counseling. We are a nonprofit organization made up of 1,200 members. Those are high school counselors, college admission professionals, and independent education consultants. All the people that want to see you succeed and help you on this crazy journey to life after high school. This is a true webinar, so your microphones and cameras are off, but please, please, please interact with us, ask lots of questions. There is a Q&A box, so please type in your questions there and our presenter will be happy to answer them either throughout the presentation or at the end, um, but he will make sure to answer your question. We have lots more sessions between now and the end of our program, which is November 6th, so please go to back to our website to sign up. And the recording from tonight's session, as well as all of our other sessions are at that same site, pacac.org slash virtual. So without further ado, I am going to pass it along to Rob from Whitworth. Excellent, thank you so much. Um, and good evening to everyone um, that was able to make it tonight. Um, I know that um, in this day and age, it's uh, very hard to find time and, and it's uh, a crazy time out there. So um, thank you so much for joining me tonight. Um, wish that we could, uh, you know, be able to, you know, talk about some of these things in person, um, but wanted to give you an idea of um, what Wentworth Institute of Technology is all about, what our community is all about, um, speak a little bit about uh, some of our admissions requirements, and um, like mentioned, if there are any questions, um, it's just me, so I'd, I'd like to answer them um, as soon as they come in, but uh, we may have to wait until the very end. Um, but without further ado, um, Wentworth was founded originally in 1904 as a technical school with the purpose of furnishing um, education in the mechanical arts and we're located right in the heart of Boston. Um, you can see our uh, breakdown of our student demographics here on this slide. Um, we're about 31 urban acres within the city of Boston and about 4,500 students in general or in total. Um, and we offer uh, 19 majors. Um, our most popular majors are mechanical engineering, computer science, architecture, as well as civil um, engineering. Um, we have five different schools. Um, we have the School of Management, we have the School of Engineering, School of Computer Science, School of Architecture, and, schools of, and the School of Arts and Sciences. Um, and there's just a couple of uh, things I want to highlight here. Um, our architecture major is an optional four plus one program, which means that after completing your four year bachelor's, Wentworth students can follow up with a one year master's at Wentworth, um, which means that you would have um, your master's in five years and um, that master's degree is a degree needed for licenses and, um, and licensure and things like that. And that is an, op that is an option that you can pursue um, at Wentworth. We also offer 21 different minors, so uh, if you're looking at this list of majors and thinking about other topics you really want to hone in on, um, then a minor might be a route you want to uh, pursue along with your major. Uh, that's totally up to you. Um, so a question on uh, everyone's minds, why would you apply to Wentworth? Um, so you would want to apply to Wentworth if you prefer action-oriented learning. Um, Wentworth provides an authentic real world platform, um, not a simulation, uh, with our hands on project based curriculum and renowned co ops. You spend your days putting ideas into action. Um, it's in, especially important for our tech science and design heavy majors that we give you the spaces and technology needed for you to have those experiences. Um, we have two dozen save VR labs and maker spaces on our campus that our, student, our students are able to make uh, to take full advantage of. And um, one that I always like to highlight is uh, called Accelerate. 
Um, and Accelerate is a makerspace on our campus that um, is available to all students across all of our majors. Um, it was founded in uh, 2012 and Accelerate brings innovation and entrepreneurship skills to our students, um, which are critical competencies in the 21st century. Um, the center promotes interdisciplinary collaboration among students, alumni, industry, and the local Boston, uh, the local Boston community. And to date, um, hundreds of thousands of dollars have been used to fund these student ideas. So, um, you know, if you do have an idea that you'd like to get off the ground, uh, you know, maybe collaborate across different majors. Um, there's a whole design center, um, essentially, uh, that's essentially designed for entrepreneurs to um, facilitate relationships and, and kind of get their ideas off the ground. Um, but uh, you should uh, also really consider Wentworth if um, you're looking uh, to get real world experience. Um, we're a school that uh, does not have an undeclared or undecided major coming into Wentworth. You need to know what you're doing. Um, and we do that so that um, when it comes to your junior year, you're ready and prepared um, for your first co-op. Um, for those that aren't familiar with what a co-op is, a co-op is somewhere in between an internship and a full-time position. Um, at Wentworth, you're required to be uh, paid in your co-op position. Um, and almost all majors complete these um, co-ops during their junior and their senior years, with the exception of architecture, who will do them their sophomore and junior year. Um, the co-ops can be done anywhere. Um, a lot of our students are choose, do choose to stay uh, here in Boston um, for their co-ops, but some go back home or even um, ex uh, explore other parts of the country or other parts of the world with their co-ops. Um, the two things that are required of these co-ops is that they are paid and that they're relevant to go what you're going to school for and essentially starting your junior year you're either going to be working or you're going to be in school until you graduate um, but you do graduate with a year of professional experience along with your four-year degree within four years um, and the numbers um, do speak for themselves uh, we have an 88 percent job employment rate uh, 10 percent of our students go to graduate school with only three percent of our students um, seeking employment six months after after graduation and of those that have uh, um, obtained employment their average salary is $65,000 a year um, and then five years down the line those same students are making $85,000 a year so it just goes to show that this co-op program um, you know not only helps students find jobs um, but find the right jobs um, that are for them because they're getting promoted um, you know they're getting raises um, that kind of thing um, and uh, while you're at Wentworth and while you're pursuing your co-ops, here are just, uh, you know, on this slide, um, some examples of uh, some of the companies that our co-ops have, um, that, that our students have done their co-ops um, with. Um, but there are a couple of students that I like to highlight during these presentations, um, just to show how creative you can be with the co-op program. Um, this one comes from Liv Gluka. She's a current student. Um, she loves Hasbro, um, you know, has always wanted to work for Hasbro, but decided to um, try on a couple of different hats while she was working at Hasbro, one um, using one co-op to work in the model shop and another to work in the product design shop. Um, and um, as she, in speaking to her experience, it was basically, you know, it would depend on the day, but she was working with model makers, designers, and engineers on projects. And, you know, she was able to kind of mix and match, and it'd be interesting to see um, which role Liv um, decides to take. Um, but, you know, that's a great route to basically go to the same company that you, that you really would, that, that you really identify with, but try on two different roles. Um, Another thing that, uh, yeah, that that's um, that's worth mentioning about our uh, community is that we're very uh, we're a very close knit community. Um, so uh, we have uh, we have about forty five hundred students across thirty one urban uh, thirty one urban acres. Um, we have students from all over the country as well from sixty um, international co uh, uh, countries. Um, and so Wentworth, and uh, we also have a student to faculty ratio of around 18 to 1 and class sizes that are no larger than 19 students per classroom. Um, so um, when you first get into Wentworth, um, it might seem a little bit intimidating because you're thrown right into your major classes, but um, you're in a small class size, you're in with other students that are in your major, um, and you form uh, relationships with the faculty as well. Um, the faculty are very invested in the uh, success of our students. Um, oftentimes, they're the ones that establish relationships with co-ops and employers, so they're always interested in seeing how, um, you know, Wentworth students are, are performing and, 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 and ensuring that you know, their, their skills are up to snuff. 
Um, in terms of housing, um, we offer two style, uh, or I should rather some start by saying you're required to live on campus for the first two years. You're guaranteed all four years, but the first two years you're required to live on campus. Um, and our first year housing options uh, come in two styles, a suite style and a traditional style. Um, so uh, basically you'd be able to be plugged into our community um, as, and into your major on day one. Um, we're also a part of a consortium called the uh, Colleges of the Fenway, um, which includes not only us, but Emanuel College, uh, Simmons University, Mass College of Art and Mass College of Pharmacy. We have 65 clubs and 18 Division III uh, sports on our own within Wentworth, um, but we share uh, resources such as, um, you know, fitness centers, um, library commons, um, and, um, and food courts and, and things like that and, and clubs and organizations with those other colleges of the Fenway. Um, we also offer um, academic affiliated clubs such as the American Institute of Architecture Students, the American Society of Mechanical Engineers, um, the Student Association of, in of Interior Designers and many more. Um, we also offer general interest clubs at Wentworth, um, so something like a robotics club or a game development club. Um, we also have clubs centered around specific identification or cultural organizations like um, our Multicultural Student Association, our National Society of Black Engineers, and our Society of Women Engineers. Um, we also have club sports as well, um, most popular being hockey, rugby, biking, and sailing. Um, and uh, again, you know, it's a, a really cool consortium that we're a part of with Emmanuel Simmons, Mass College of Art, Mass College of Pharmacy, because you can say to yourself, oh, I'm comfortable with my 4,500 students, 31 uh, urban acres here at Wentworth. Um, but if you were looking for resources that you might find at a larger university, um, you know, you could pursue those and leverage those through the colleges of the Penway. Um, So um, we believe that at Wentworth, um, the social experience that you'll have, or I'd rather, um, you know, we understand that the transition from high school to college can be a very daunting one. Um, and with that in mind, we have a wide variety of student support services to help assist you with your transition and assure you have a productive and fulfilling experience. And so we put you in contact with academic advisors as soon as you uh, become a deposited student. Um, we have library and learning commons, um, which includes um, state-of-the-art technology, as well as um, executive um, lear learning suites and um, executive conference rooms where you can reserve time and uh, essentially have a quiet space to um, work and study. Um, we also have a center for academic excellence, which would include tutoring, facilitated sub uh, study groups and learning labs. Um, we also have a center for wellness for um, counseling services, disability service and wellness education. Um, and as mentioned earlier, we uh, our location truly is one of the major selling points of our um, of our education. Um, this is our campus right here in the foreground, um, 31 urban acres. And when I say that um, we are uh, we are close to um, our neighbors in the colleges of the Fenway and the consortium of the colleges of the Fenway, um, it's no joke. Right across the street from us is Mass College of Art. Um, down the street from here is um, Mass College of Pharmacy, uh, Emanuel College and Simmons University. Um, really, you can walk around the entire area and not step foot off of a college campus. So um, a very vibrant student um, oriented neighborhood. Um, there are two uh, subway lines that are adjacent to campus. As you can see, it goes straight into downtown. So if you have a co-op or if you're just trying to hang out in the city, um, you know, Wentworth is a great location. Um, not, to only, not, not only mentioning that our soccer field is right across the street um, from the Museum of Fine Arts in Boston. So um, definitely, uh, you know, uh, one thing I like to say is not only are you moving um, to, uh, you know, not only are you going to college for your education, but um, when you go to Wentworth, you're also moving to Boston. You're becoming a part of a world-class city. Um, so uh, the fun part, uh, how do you join our community? What are the application requirements? So at Wentworth, um, our admissions process is rolling admissions. Um, so once we receive all your required materials, we'll try to give you a decision within three to five weeks. Uh, we do have a priority deadline of December 1st. Um, so if you apply before December 1st, you'll automatically be considered for a $1,000 early action scholarship. Um, so I recommend any seniors that um, are considering applying to Wentworth to apply before December 1st so that you're eligible for that additional $1,000. 
Um, we also have a regular decision um, deadline of February 15th. Um, we have that uh, deadline so that we can guarantee you a spot in the major that you applied for. Um, so, uh, you know, but after February 15th, it becomes more of a logistical question that, you know, well, mechanical engineering, let's say you, you applied uh, as a mechanical engineer before February 15th, we would be able to guarantee you a spot in the mechanical engineering class. However, if you applied after February 15th and the mechanical engineering class is already full, we'd say, you know, hey, you're, you're qualified to, you know, come to Wentworth, um, but the class is full, it's a logistical issue, how would you like to pursue another, another major that might have some more room. Um, so those are the two deadlines that we have. Um, and in terms of uh, tuition and financial aid, 85% um, of our students receive financial based assistance, um, merit and need based. Um, 100% and the tuition is 30 is around $3,500,000 per year. Um, the average room and board is around $15,000 a year. But um, I'd like to also mention that um, during your co-op, you make an average of $16,000 a year. So that helps off offset the cost of our education. Um, but also every student receives a merit scholarship. Somewhere between $9,000 and $19,000 is the average. So as a result, um, when you add all these numbers together, um, you, uh, for most families, when it comes to tuition and room and board, once they combine the need-based uh, the, the need financial aid, as well as um, the merit-based scholarship, the, uh, at the end of the day, it's, it ends up for most families being uh, between twenty-eight dollars and $36,000 a year. Um, but the application requirements that we do have, um, your app, we, we do accept the common app. Um, we also have our own um, application on our website that you can apply and, and do for and, and use for free. Um, we also require recommend one letter of recommendation. Um, you can send us as many letters of recommendation as um, you feel uh, is appropriate, but only one is required. Um, a personal statement would be the essay that you would include um, within your application. Um, you can also have, uh, you know, an app, your application fee waived if you attend one of our open houses. We actually have an open house that's scheduled for um, the next, for uh, October 8th. So I'll be able to, so if anybody has any questions, please, please feel free to um, give me an email or uh, follow this link here um, to, to register for that open house to get the application fee waived. Um, but now Wentworth is, um, is test optional. So we're going to be paying uh, particularly close attention to that personal statement and the extracurricular activities to see um, really a passion or at least a story of why you want to go to school for why you want to pursue what you're going to school for. Um, so, for example, you know, I, I read uh, essays all the time for mechanical engineers that say, oh, I started off as a kid playing with Legos and then I joined the robotics club and now I want to be a mechanical engineer. Um, you know, if that's shown in their personal statement and their extracurricular activities, those are certainly the type of um, students that we look for at Wentworth. Students that are, um, you know, ready to get going, um, get the, fund the two years of, of, of academics underneath their belt and then going out into the field within three years to test them. Um, uh, so I guess that is uh, what I have for our presentation. Um, if there are any questions, um, I can uh, certainly entertain them in the uh, in the chat at this point. Um, but uh, there are also, um, you know, some links that you can follow. Um, it, the admissions main office line is 617-989-4000. And um, for any questions about admissions, uh, you can email admissions at wit.edu. Um, and for questions about financial aid or, um, and, or, registrar, or registrar services, um, you would want to call the Student Service Center at 617-989-4020. Um, I'll also provide my uh, contact information in uh, the chat. I'm the admissions counselor um, for, uh, or I'm not sure if I, I'm the, I, I'm the admissions counselor for uh, Pennsylvania, so I'd be the one re uh, reviewing your applications. So um, if you have any questions, feel free to give me an email personally. My, all my contact information um, would, be on my, would be on the website as well. Um, so don't hesitate to reach out. I'd be more than happy to uh, direct you to the right people if you're interested in um, speaking with some of the department heads, um, just uh, discussing where your materials are, how soon you get a decision. Um, I'd be very ha happy to, to help you out. Um, and uh, with any questions. So feel free to reach out to me at any point.
We'll give everybody one more moment um, in case they have any questions, feel free to type them in the Q&A box. Thank you so much, Rob, for sharing all this wonderful awesome. information. And I will just share my screen for one more moment to close us out here. Again, um, thank you to everyone who joined us this evening. Uh, there is a quick survey at the end when the session closes out and there are more sessions to see. So go to pacact.org slash virtual to see the sessions, register for the live sessions that are continuing tomorrow and next week. And all of our recordings, including the one from tonight will be there, pacact.org slash virtual. And again, have a wonderful evening, have a wonderful weekend. Bye everyone. Take care.